Hi, my name is Michael Boyle, and we're here at Mike Boyle Strength and Conditioning in Winchester, Mass., to film our next DVD series. What we're filming is what we call a joint-by-joint -joint approach to training. If we look at this, you may have actually read the article. We've begun to look at the process of training not as a movement versus muscle group training, not versus a non-bodybuilding style training, but really literally as a joint-by-joint -joint approach. Uh, if that sounds confusing, I'll hopefully explain it to you. This thought process comes out of a conversation I had with physical therapist Greg Cook, where as we discussed the findings of his functional movement screen, which is a system to look at mobility and stability, Gray made a really profound statement that um, in his mind wasn't all that profound, in mine was very, in the sense that he said, well, it's really simple. You just work your way up joint by joint. I literally ran from my notebook. I ran from my notebook. I said, wait a second, stop. Don't lose the thought. Let me write this down. And I began to scratch out this thought process. Okay, ankle mobility. When we look at people that have difficulty squatting, we realize ankle mobility is a problem. When we look at people who have low back pain, we see that hip mobility is a problem. When we look at people that have low back pain and neck pain, we realize thoracic mobility is a problem. And what we realized was that Gray was entirely right, that um, as we move up the body on a joint-by-joint -joint basis, we have joints that have different needs. So as we go through our warm-up process, we realize we need to mobilize the ankle. As we go into our strength training process, we realize we need to stabilize the knee. And again, as we go through the process, we need to make the hip more mobile, we need to make the lumbar spine more stable. We need to make the thoracic spine more mobile. Then we need to make the scapulothoracic joint more stable. And then we need to make the shoulder joint more mobile. So literally, we are stacking these joints one on top of each other. It's interesting as I've conversed with people, some people have said that the initial article that I wrote for PT on the net was something that really changed the way they think about the process. Hopefully today during the course of this DVD, will get you to change the way you think about the process of training, the process of warming up, and really start to look at the body, as we said, this stacked pile of joints that have different needs.